name's Adrian Sims, uh, owner operator of CBS Stoneworks. I've uh, been in business for 10 years. I've been a stonemason for coming up to 20 years. Uh, we specialize in all uh, types of masonry from uh, stone to brick to uh, veneer, rock walls to walkways, uh, rock walls, retaining walls. Uh, we also do lots of concrete, lots of pavers, anything masonry, we do. No job is too big nor too small. Our first job site will be um, the Royal Bay development in the Machosan area where the old gravel pitch used to be. Uh, we have the contract there. Uh, we just completed the first phase. We did 34 homes out of 90 which were applied with masonry. Uh, and we've just been awarded the contract for the second phase. Uh, which predominantly could be another 188 homes. Um, so yeah, and we've done lots of cultured stone on that, the, uh, the fake rock, and, but, but and it looks really nice. And what are the boys doing there today? The boys today are up on a chimney, uh, some scaffolding, finishing off, um, getting up to the roof line, and hopefully finish off the job by the end of the week. <laughs> working on here? Uh, we are doing, uh, this is lot 44 in uh, Royal Bay. We're using a Hudson Bay ledge stone. It's a dry stack stone. Uh, basically we stack all the stones together, um, overfill the joints and at the end of the day we just recess the joints with a slicker um, and then we sponge it down and make it look beautiful. Well, talk about this uh, scaffolding setup here. What is all this? So basically we have uh, 10 foot wide scaffold boards, five foot high frames. We're seven hot feet, seven frames high right now, so we're probably we're at, at the highest point. It's 35 feet. Uh, we're tied in here with all the um, tie-ins, tie arms. It's the code for WCB. You have to do it. As you see, Kobe over here. Kobe, give it away. Kobe's uh, harnessed in. Uh, the harness is attached to the roof line up there, well, the peak of the roof. Um, and is this standard for all this kind of work now? You have to meet uh, WCB safety regulations. Um, if someone's doing a chimney off of a ladder or not the sufficient scaffolding, it's a big fine and also you can hurt yourself. So we've just left the Royal Bay job site, uh, happy with the guy's process, everything looks great. So now we're heading up to our job site in Mill Bay. I just finished the job off in the summer. A few things have been um, added to my work from various carpenters and whatnot uh, since I've finished my work. So we're going to go up there and do a once over with the customer, make sure he's happy. So this house in Mill Bay, we did uh, two chimneys outside two fireplaces inside. We did an infinity hot tub. Um, we did columns, we did flower beds, we did private dog runs for their two little chihuahuas. We did pillars with electrical uh, gates. This is a lovely flower bed we built in this uh, circular driveway. A nice feature to the, to the front of the house as soon as you walk up or drive up. This is a two and a half, three inch concrete cap. Uh, fully enforced with rebar, um, gives it a nice finish to the top of the nice rock wall. Uh, Pre-built first with concrete blocks to give you the circular dimensions and then faced it with a real stone veneer. How much time would something like this take? Start to finish with the concrete footing, the concrete block, the stone, the cap. Um, about a week and a half. And we've allowed weeper holes which allow all the rainwater to drain into the flower bed where it actually helps water the flower bed all the way through. And it's amazing how you can get all this for just under $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most enjoyable part of, of your job? Dealing with customers, because as most people know, I'm a people person. I can sell ice to the Eskimos. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just lo love doing different things every day. It's not a, a nine to five job, you know, sometimes we work seven days a week. What's the uh, hardest part about the job? 
bending over non-stop. <laughs> up, down, up, down. Hard on the back, hard on the knees. This is all this Manchester United stuff here. That's, they're my lucky charms. Along with the wife, lucky charm too. Her idea, not mine. I'd say it's your idea. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> We have their Caleb Pike uh, Heritage Park on Mill Stream and Caleb Pike. This is an old dairy farm that's about 120 years old. We're building this retaining wall to protect it from the water drainage. The grade flows towards this house. Do you enjoy masonry work? I honestly love it. I uh, always said growing up that uh, I would never do any work with my dad. I enjoyed it, but it was hard work. And I couldn't see myself doing anything else. I love it. Do you love anything more? Manchester United. <laughs> my love, my life, my everything. I'm a spot hard soccer fan, football, as they say. United are the team for me, but it is like 25 Manchester United captains. My arms, my back, maybe players. And if you are a city fan, surrender all your team. Come here. That's why I love what I do. Wildlife, on the job site. <laughs> Most days I would like to be on the tools, but some days that's just not possible. I have multiple jobs on the go at all times, sometimes three, four, five jobs. And what are you doing when you're going to these jobs? Are you just Checking up on my employees, meeting with inspectors, meeting with engineers. Many things change. I could have an email from an engineer that I have to meet him another day. I could have an employee call in sick. I could have material not show up on, tight, or on site on time. Um, there's very many different variables in this job. And obviously weather, being a stonemason, weather is a huge factor. If it's raining or snowing, a lot of the finishing work cannot be complete, whereas the preparation work can be complete. So Friday finished, four job sites visited, about 250 kilometers um, traveled. Now off home to do a little bit of paperwork, put a couple of quotes together, send one invoice off, and then time to get all dressed up, ready for the uh, 2017 BBB Awards. Wish us luck, CVS Stoneworks. Hey guys, just a quick update. It's been a few weeks since the uh, BBB Awards. So I would just like to say that uh, CVS Stoneworks won Construction Company of the Year with the Better Business Bureau. Second year in a row, uh, we actually won the year before, 2016. And in 2015, I was a finalist, so close but no cigar on that one. But I'd like to thank everybody for their continued support for myself, my business, uh, me and my employees appreciate it very much. And uh, here's looking forward to 2018. Cheers. Thank you.